Hello, mad lovers. How you doing? As you can see, I'm with Jules. That's right. We're mudlarking, which means we're looking for anything old and interesting on the foreshore. shore. Well, the river turns when the tide goes out. What do you want to find today, then, Jules? Bit well, of pottery. Bit, bit of, of pottery. Anything. Bit of anything. We'll have a go. That's it. Anything's good here. Anything's so good. let's get some luck in the mud. Bronze. I'd say it's bronze. That's a nice little find. That's yeah, good, that's cool. Yeah, a little uh, Indian offering. Maybe it's Shiva or someone like that. Ganesh. Ganesh, yeah. Nice. Well, look at this, guys. This is pretty cool. No one's picked this up or spotted it. It's a very warped, a very beautiful Tudor brick. Let's unplug that from its muddy bed. Oh, took too much there, but there we go. That's really nice. That's a 400 year old brick right there. Absolutely fantastic. All handmade, nicely warped. Excellent. Got to carry that around now for the rest of the day. Cut the coins here. One. Cut the euros, cents. Well, Jules, you just dropped this, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's for you, isn't it? It's yeah, uh... sure a. Uh... Mm. Yeah. Nice, uh... nice little. Uh... I don't know what you call it. Harness, I call it. Harness. Oh, is that what you call it? It's got, yeah, it's got, it's got your name on there as well, Jules. It's got a J for Jules. <laughs> Come and have a look. What do you reckon? It's just down there. Like that? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So just some little scrape around here, look. Like you do. And this popped up. Looks a little bit like a dog thing, doesn't it? Or saying that. Oh, do you know what? Well, I think I can see hallmarks, you know. Stop it. I thought I did. I thought I swear I saw a hallmark. Give Sorry, a guys. Give it a wash. Look at that. It could be a nice bit of gold. Happy days, if it is. <clears throat> What do you reckon, guys? Is it copper? Or is it a rose gold? All right, I'm gonna have a quick look at this and see if I can find a hallmark. Oh yeah, look, 375. That's uh, nine carat gold. Woohoo! Every link has got the same little hallmark. Excellent! Hey! Fantastic! Nice little bit of gold! Yes! It's just a toilet chain, there's no way it'd be stamped like that. Well <laughs> Cheers, well dude! Done. Yeah, so there's a little bit of, um, at first I saw a little bit of like corrosion there. Yeah, nine carat gold does sometimes tarnish because it's got a bit of other alloys and things in it, but pure gold, like 22, 24 carat, it will always go in always come out the way it went in <laughs> uh, but yeah what happy with that gold get in <laughs> Excuse me while I take a leak. A little pot base, and right up to present day, a nice little wound dressing. Yeah, it'll come in handy, I suppose. <laughs> Never know when you might get hurt. Jules has had a bit of a mystery item, haven't you, Jules? Yeah, it's um. An odd one, that. That's lovely though, it's very tactile. It looks like it, look, it's had that little bit added to it later on. So it's, yeah, it's it been carved. Yeah, I think carved. it's, it looks like a stirrer. Or maybe it's it might be, a, it might be a very delicate wall. 
A swizzle stick, I don't think they're that, that, they're that fancy, because in the army they wouldn't have used anything this ornate, but that's a beautifully turned piece of bone or ivory. Interesting, isn't it? That's Shame lovely. The rest of it's not there, we don't know what it is. Oh, I reckon it might be a very delicate, maybe like a child's walking stick, or maybe a, a parasol, uh, a parasol um, handle. handle. Yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see if we can find any parallels of this online. If you think you know, guys, comment below, because uh, we are we're a bit stumped at the moment, so give us your suggestions. I like that though, okay. that's really cool. You give it to me. Oh, <laughs> he said. <laughs> he said, "There you go." Asked what he's giving it to me. <laughs> oh, I've just seen something down here. Might be a little toy, I think. Just in the crack there. Uh, oh, could we say military? Part of a mount or something? Or... Yeah. Hmm. All night. All night. Piece of lead. Oh, it's got a little rose on that side. Part of a brooch, possibly. Do you know what it does? It's, well, it's pewter. It's a pewter thing. It looks a bit too modern to be anything like Pilgrim's Badge related. There might be some letters there. Oh, that could just be decoration. I think it's just decoration. But it's a nice little, ornate little object. Interesting little thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll see if I can uh, I'll unfold that when I get home and see if it makes more sense. Yeah, I wonder what that was used for. It might be, might be a child's toy, like an 18th century child's toy piece. Yeah, nice and intriguing. What's that look like there? That bit there on the end. Oh well, we'll wait and see. I managed to carefully unfold this piece of lead and I'm really hoping that it could be part of a medieval pilgrim's badge. In the 13th to the 16th centuries, Christians would travel to holy towns like Canterbury in Kent and pick up a souvenir, and when they returned, they would often throw it in the river. These are valued finds for us mudlarkers, and I've looked in my reference books and found some close parallels. The bullet-shaped thing could be an acorn, a very popular icon back then. I'll take it to the Museum of London for them to look at, and if it turns out to be a pilgrim's badge, I'll be sure to let you know. So make sure you subscribe and hear that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. What you got, mate? A little, little, little uh, propelling oh, pencil or something. That's it might beautiful, have been, isn't it? A little pen of some sort. Not about too much age to it, but. That's unusual. It's a little. little a yeah. stylus, one would call it, a stylus. A stylus of some description. You'll, you'll find a nice, uh, yeah, a nice of interesting similar. Bits, yeah. yeah. Yeah, odd. It's like the end has got a little graphite piece yeah, to it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of age to that. One to, another one to research. It looks like one the sort of pen you get in your mobile phones, you know, and they slide, slide it down the top. Yeah, I think it's but, a bit older than that. Uh, I know, yeah, but it just reminds me of the same thing. But no, that's, that's beautifully made, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to work out the material. It's probably like hmm. some sort of hardwood. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, there's a button. There's a button, there you go. It was, I knew it was something. <laughs> I just see it when I was talking to you. But... What's it saying, man? One for the oh. Bet Thames Buttons website, perhaps? Possibly. Yeah, it's definitely got a tailor's name on it. But my eyesight's not as good as it used to be. Well, let's get the re let's get the viewers to what to read it. Oh, it's uh, E. Preston Lambeth. Well, there you go, nice. And... Could I take that for the uh, Tim's Button website and upload I it? I think you can. Oh, well, I'll tell you what I need to do. Take a photo. Oh, what you got? Yeah, I can see a bit of stoneware just sticking out there, look. It might be broken, a lot of these, a lot of these items are. Uh, but there's always a chance it might have been protected from the tides. Just in there, look. Oh yeah. Looks complete, sorry. Looks alright, doesn't it? Looks like ginger beer. Might just be the old... Uh... It's got a nice colour glaze. Oh, it could be a uh, Polonaris bottle. No. no, it's a ginger beer. Get a little bit of air underneath it. Want a shovel, sir? No, there we go. There. So, oh, it looks like a bit chunky for a ginger. Is it ginger? Oh, oh, it's broken. Oh, what a shame. Tops off. What to now? The... Out here? Well, it's quite warm today. <laughs> oh, it's a little plain little. Go on, what we got? Oh, on it's there? got born and born and sons. Oh, there you go. That's quite a nice little one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, look, it's cool because I can cut it down yeah, and make it into a nice little, that, yeah. nice little candle holder. It, we're lucky that it's not a really rare embossed yeah, no, jobby. It's so nice. it's got the Denby yeah. pottery stamp on it. 1871, could even be there the date of manufacture. Go. There you go, quite nice. Lovely job. Well done, mate. Thank you.
There you go. Cut that down and show you what it looks like later. Good lad. Well, it survived the cut down. Look at that. Looking beautiful. And I put a little bit of black watercolour um, into those recesses of that imprint just to really make it pop. So yeah, awesome little jar that can be used for paintbrushes or maybe even use it to drink with. Yeah, lovely little thing. And uh, you can actually see the, uh, the potter's um, fingerprints in there as well. The uh, guy or gal who made it over 100 years ago. What a lovely little thing now. Upcycled, bit of chip there, but you know, it tells a little story. And now it's got a second story, maybe with you. So go and check out the uh, Etsy store. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, a little Chinese ornament. Anybody be able to read that for me? Translate it? Any Chinese uh, speaking or translators in the house, please uh, leave the translation below and I'd love to know what that means. It's probably some sort of good luck message, I, I would have thought. Prosperity or something, let me know. Comment below. A little clay marble, Victorian clay marble. Yeah, very well camouflaged these. Look, try and spot that out in a, in a lineup. You struggle. Oh, a few Put bits of jewels that up. Bullets and some some modern change. change or is there a bit of a. George. Oh, there goes, goes a scent. <laughs> hey, you lost your scent, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Was oh, yeah, that one, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, you know what that is? Yeah, it's oh, it's a farthing. It's a farthing, isn't it? Or? Yeah, it's a farthing, that's a nice one. That's the earliest bit so far. So yeah, 1928. And there was that. a, there was a. What's this? Part of something. Yeah, I did see a little bullet down here as it goes. Am I going to be able to find it again? Bit scrap, bit of scrap. It was sort of a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. That's what we love. Oh well, it was here somewhere. Can you spot it, guys? I can't. I've lost it. Your eyes open for a little bullet. Oh, massive coin oh, look at that. Oh. Hello, I think we've had one of these before. Oh, yeah, another one of them. Really cool. Well, all the information on this coin is in a previous video, and it was a press, it's a press token, isn't it? Oh, you yeah. found one yourself now. Well done. Here we are. London SE. What does that say? Repairs of every description. description. Yeah. It's a press. It's a metal pressing company. Tenants Machinery. There you go. W Waller. Waller. Yeah, fancy finding the same thing twice. Interesting. <laughs> a bit of advertising. That's right, a little advertising token. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh well, I can't find that bullet. Never mind. Oh, there's a little 303 tip here. Maybe that's what I was looking at. Oh, there it is. There's one there. Look, that's what it is. I think there might be another one somewhere, but I'm not going to take these today. Live ammunition, not, not great to have in the house. Little button. It's not one of those mystery lead blob yeah. things with a stick on the end. <laughs> oh, there it is. I did find it after all. So the, here we go. If you, if you rewind back and you were thinking, where was it? <laughs> it was here. So uh, you've got a couple of nine millis. I'll be leaving here. Well, Jules found a couple of rod shaped objects earlier. There, and I found one myself, look. And a lovely piece of turned glass. You can hear it like, it feels like it might be a stirrer. Nice piece of glass there. Obviously broken, but interesting. Coin. Oh, it's a thin one. Oh no, it's not a coin. Hey, hey. it's a little token. Ah, uh, oh, it's got a date on. Joan of Arc. Anything on the other side? Hey, <laughs> yeah, lovely. Oh, little Joan of Arc. What do you call it? Pendant. That's unusual. Oh, I love that. Again, not no great age, probably Victorian or early 20th century, perhaps. And it's got a date on there. 8th of May, 1412 to 1431. And it wasn't too long ago that it was National 
International Women's Day, so it's quite poignant, although we're a bit late. I just found something else down here, look. Just there. I don't think it's anything. It looks like it's an old pocket watch. Sadly, too far gone for any form of restoration, but still, interesting little finds. Interesting bit of carved stone there. I just wanted to see what it was really, so give it a quick wash. See if there's anything interesting on it. I don't know if it's been carved or whether it's the impression of whether this is old cement and it's got the impression of what it was underneath it, if you know what I mean. Just interesting to have a quick look. Yeah, I'm still none the wiser. It feels like it is actually like a sandstone. So perhaps that was engraved in there. Don't know. If anybody knows, comment below if they know what that could be from. Well, talking of decorated stonework, this is a thing of beauty. Look at that. off the church or something maybe it's blown up in the blitz I don't know cool though a bit too heavy for take today I think I'll leave that for the uh, river gods oh spot the teeny tiny bead are you there yet it is there Welcome to the game show, stone or coin? Or something else? Take your pick, is it a stone? Is it a coin? Or is it something else? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's just a stone. It did look good though, didn't it? Don't say that, say they're rare as hen's teeth. Oh, look guys, this is like a complete thing, hopefully. Oh, hopefully it's complete and not just a drain pipe. Oh, it's a drain pipe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to be saying better. It's a drain bleeding pipe. Flipping heck, man. Well, guys, you've got to believe me when I say there's a bottle here. The tide's on its way in. I just caught it just in time. Woohoo! Oh, nice one. Look at that. This bottle is a property of and the contents manufactured by Barrett's Vauxhall. That's an unusual one. Beautiful. So I've just pulled this out from a little rusty, muddy grave look and uh, it's like an old bicycle lamp, another one. This is mostly tin, and I'm going, to have, I'm going to struggle to clean this up. But there's a little bit of brass just there. Look, maybe a little, uh, a little light, um, a little adjuster or something. Anyway, it's got a big lump on the back, so I'll take a few bits off and see if I can, uh, see if I can upcycle this. It's a nice little project actually. See if I can get a lens from somewhere or I don't know. Anyway, stick with me. See if I can upcycle it. It may just fall apart, so we'll see how we get on later on. Joel, stop talking. Start mudlarking. Oh, this looks good. See a little name there, look. Hopefully it's complete. Oh, wow. Yay! Oh, I stuck fast. Uh, 
there we go. Nice ginger beer. Barrett. Oh, that's a nice one. Barrett's. Oh, Vauxhall. That's a nice one. Oh, well, we can. The other one doesn't seem too bad now as it broke. This one's a complete one. Happy days. Nice. Ah, sweet taste of the Thames. Oh, I might have found another one as it goes. Let's have a look out here, look. Oh, it's just a broken one. Oh, look at all this broken pottery, guys. I think they're all mostly broken drains. Do have a complete bottle here, though. Again, stuck fast in the mud. Nice little design. That's cool. What's it say on there? Sutton's. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. Sutton's was a compound cream of ammonia and claimed to help you remove that tired feeling if you added it to your morning bath and also help remove oil and grease from your motor car. We now know how toxic ammonia is, but they failed to mention that in the advert. Well, it is the weird and wonderful Thames for sure, and it never stops. Someone's decided to decorate this bone for some unknown reason. <laughs> I think I'll leave that there. Interesting though. Ah, oh, little heartbreaker. It's broken at the top, but it's got a glorious coat of arms on there, look. by Royal Warrant, and that's an Idris. I'll cut that down, stick on the Etsy store. Sweet. <laughs> Having a fucking great time we are. <laughs> Jules has got a nice little milk bottle in his hand, we'll check that out later. In the meantime, I found this which on the face of it just looks like a, a normal plaque but because it's got some of those countersunk screws in you could have something on the inside of that so it could be a, a really cool name plaque anyway I'll take that, I'll clean it up if there's anything good on it I'll be sure to let you know the pouch it goes well here's that plaque all cleaned up um, sadly there's no writing on it but I plan to do a bit of artwork um, in the coming weeks, so make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing, and we'll upcycle this into a wonderful piece of art. Yeah, can't wait to do that. Stay tuned. A little offering pot. And a teapot. <laughs> Cup of tea, don't mind if I do. Oh, that's just inside that, that pot. I think I'll put it back though, it's a little, it's a little offering. So, uh, yeah, leave it behind. Well guys, I've just found something really cool. I'm looking down at it, it could be something really amazing. It could be EastEnders finest, finest sculpture. If you watch EastEnders, you'll know what I mean. I'm really hoping this is what I think it is. It's unbelievable, I've never seen anything like this before. Come and have a look. You see that? That's a bust, an actual bust. Now look, it looks like Queen Victoria. Could it be? Wow, should we turn it over? Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. That is the find, second find of the year. That's incredible, it's, it's, it's made of bronze. It's a bronze bust of Queen Victoria. How incredible is that? I've just found my find of the year, take two. That is gonna take pride of place in my house. It's straight off the uh, countertop of um, the Queen Vic. What on earth are you doing in here, mom? That's incredible, can't wait to get that home and clean it up. Wow. I can't believe it. It's Queen Victoria, how you doing, ma'am? Oh, is it ma'am? Your Majesty. 
Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, you, you didn't enjoy the mud of the Thames, did you? Now let's take you home and uh, give you a lovely new home, shall we? Oh, you're very welcome, Mum. How incredible is that, guys? Queen Victoria, bronze bust. Bronze bust of Queen Victoria. What are you looking at? I know, it's an amazing find. <laughs> yeah, let's go and show Jules, he won't believe this. Jules! Check out my busts. You gotta come and look at this. This is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Go. Ah. Shut up. <laughs> See you, Jules. <laughs> what? Bronze. Bronze, Queen Victoria. How incredible is that? It's been stolen and thrown in there. Well, she's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's heavy as. Unbelievable. What? <laughs> That's nuts, isn't it? Oh man, it's incredible, isn't it? She looks miserable. Well, she's. Fantastic, she's... isn't it? How cool is that? Well, she's a lot less miserable now she's out of the mud. No, damn right. She spent 100 years, probably face down or, or less, depends if it, where it's come she's from. She's amazing. Isn't she great? She's wonderful, yeah. Oh, I want to kiss you, Mum. <laughs> give a little peck on the nose. <laughs> give, a, give a little peck on the. I think I pulled. I think you Oh, Jules has filled up his bag there, look, with all those lovely bottles. Cool. Oh, that's nice. We'll have a look at those later. Yeah, he's been busy, busy boy. Yeah, look, see this? It's quite nice. A little caster off an old chair. Oh, I'm not sure what you can do with that. I might take it anyway, just because it's a little unique curio. Oh, tide's coming in. <laughs> I say coming in, we're getting some wake. Watch your bums, are gonna get wet. Well, from one piece of metal to another, just like this little dime, American dime. It's really cool. Yeah, one dime, one dime. Uh, trying to read the date on it actually, it's quite, uh, it's quite tiny. Let's see if we can get a close up of that date. Oh, 89, not as old as it looks. Nice old bottle there, look. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. They're quite common. They're nice, but they're common. Might leave it for another day. It's only so much I can take, you know. Oh, I think Jules has got an enamel sign of some sort. <laughs> what does that say? Give it some welly, Jules. Pedestrian subway. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need a bigger bag. Oh, cool. Embankment, Lambeth Road. Oh, I love it. Well, on reflection, it's been a great day. Let's have a quick look and see what we found, eh? So we've had a milk bottle day today. Well, a bottle day, full stop. Oh, look at them all. What a day. You don't get days like this very often. Super low tide. Especially with old, uh, the bust of Queen Victoria there. Looking very regal. And somewhat miserable. I mean, date, looking at the age of a, a veil, that's quite a late one, isn't it? Like 18, 1890s profile, 1880s, yeah. yeah, sort of profile. So, yeah, it looks like she's come straight off the uh, the Queen Vic. Yeah, George has got a few other finds. What you got, mate? We've got a little Masonic all seeing eye pipe there. Oh, yeah. 
decorated. We were just saying to you earlier, we had found quite it's got today. A bit but... damage on the other side, but it is Masonic. Just a bit different. Oh, and yeah. That's the top of a counter bell, I'd say. Counter top bell. Yep. And we've, ding and, ding. And ironically, I've got the base of one, so we're going to use that <clears> in, a, in a repair. <laughs> We were talking Cut about models. those. I've got what might be, uh, well, it's a teaspoon. <laughs> Short of teaspoons. A bit of jewellery. It's going through all your pockets now, and you're putting everything out. You need to sell. Where's your finance pouch I bought you? Well, oh, yeah. Dyke like gave you, Sorry, gifted you from Search Mag. Yeah. This little fella. <laughs> well, we found a, there's a, there's a two bronze figures there, look. That's nice, yeah, it's like a little uh, back Tommy, of a... Loads of beads. Yeah. Oh, a Ford key fob. Yeah, guys, always stick around to the end because we do find stuff we just shove straight in our That's pockets. A shell, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a little, uh, yeah. Part of a shell. Part of a shell at the top. Leading it. A little bit of shrapnel. <laughs> Any gems in there? Not really. We've seen the button, haven't Barbing. we? Barbing. Bit of modern, bit of, bit of tap. Marbles. Oh, that's a nice bead. marble. That's a beauty, that one. It's a good one. We like marbles. Yeah, we do like a marble. Bullets. Yeah, another little marble there. Oh, that's a bead. And that's your lot. Wicked. This little mad thing. Oh, yeah. We saw earlier. Yeah, look, I found something similar. Look. It's in the glass version. Oh, yeah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, cute and freaky at the same time. <laughs> and that's it, sir. I'll pat you down, make sure you haven't got any more no, in there. No, you no, sure? That's it, that's it, okay, yeah. right, fair enough. That's it, and this little thing. Oh yeah, that's lovely as well. That's a beautiful little turned wood object. So yeah, talk through your bottles because we didn't see any of these come up. Oh, well, so we what? just got milk bottles today. United Dairies, very uh -huh. common. Yeah. Don't know this one. The ACS you know, that small is. Small United. That's what I used to get in school. The little ones. Yep. Yeah. Ink, bulk ink. Some sort of chemist. That's a nice shape though, isn't that one? Not bad. It's late, but yeah. Yeah. This one here. Oh, that's a beauty. Look at that. Uh... Rolling 52 Walnut Tree Kennington. Walnut Tree Walk Kennington. <laughs> I think that's another Jumbo one Jumbo size. Near Kennington, North Brixton. Kennington and North Brixton. Oh, so they all and come from Kennington. From their, obviously from their cows. That's an Auburn's Dairy. Yeah. So there Excellent. you go. Superb. Oh, and this one as well, yeah? Yeah, that one there. Davis oh, that's a lovely one. Sons. Pure rich milk from Davies. And some. Wicked, what a mate. Yeah, I like the uh, wide necks on these. Yeah, great. Mate. Let's see what I found here. Oh, 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 in this, yeah. And the, uh, the rather small enamel sign. From Albert Bank from the East, Albert what? Road. Where's this going to go then? Well, I don't know yet. <laughs> We've got a few, we'll give it a clean. That'll look cool, wouldn't it? It needs a clean and a polish. It's been in there a while. Yeah, you saved it just at the right time, I think, but it's got a nice patina on it. That look really cool, shows its age. What do you reckon, sort of 50s, 60s? 60s. 60s, yeah. 60s, it's hard to say because they kept the same font, didn't they, for yeah. all these years? Well, just, uh, you've seen these bottles come up. This one looks really good now in the uh, in the sunlight. Um, the bottle is the property of, and the content is manufactured by Barrett's BBC. Oh, BB Co Limited Vauxhall, look at it. Look at that beautiful embossing and it's complete as well. And Jules thinks this is, could be quite a rare, a rare style. Did you say it was like what sort of? I don't know, four, but yeah, it's a nice cylinder. I just called it a cylinder. cylinder. Yeah. But it's, uh... Number eighty-seven. Wicked. Can you look it up? Yeah. Obviously the uh, ginger beer bottle as well. Sorry, we are in London, so we got to put up with the uh, sirens from time to time. Um, nice one there, Vauxhall, Barrett's another 87, look. so maybe, maybe there's a connection, maybe it's the address. Yeah, I love this. All still a mud, got to clean that out of course. 
cut down one. Sutton's, I'm not sure what that is. It might be a disinfectant. I think it might be disinfectant. Or it could be a gin or something like that. Might have a go at uh, cleaning this up, see how far I get. It's got so much rust and crud on there, it might just fall apart, but we'll give it a go, try and save these things. It's not even got a flat bottom. Well, here we have that funny little lamp thing. There's a good chance it might survive. So, uh, I'm just gonna put in this vise here so, it can, so I can hold it while I get some of this crud off and see what's underneath it. Unfortunately, it is just falling apart. Oh, do you know what? I don't think it can be saved. That's such a shame, isn't it? Well, as you can see, it is literally a pile of rust. There's only one redeeming piece, and that is this little wheel. So, it might even be a maker's mark on that. I think it might have been a switch, or maybe... Um, yeah, not sure on that. Maybe it was a controller for the for the lamp. Um, this little bit sort of survived, but what can you do with that really? It is, it is brass in there. Um, unfortunately, it's just it's just it's just so corroded. Oh, even I can't resurrect this. And I'm going to cut down this one with the beautiful uh, coat of arms. Obviously, not forgetting my yeah, pride lady. possession. I'll tell you what, that is so well cast, isn't it? Look at the detail in the face. This is magnificent. With a, with a rosette thing on as well. I oh, know, what's it called? A lanyard? Yeah, with a lanyard thing on as well. And a brooches. In fact, that looks like it's got a little, it's got a little motif of a person or a little brooch. Anyway, let's have a look at the smalls that I found. Okay, so I'll go through my little smalls quickly. I really love this little uh, pendant here, Joan of Arc. 8th of May, 1412 to 1431. Yeah, love that, with her on the back riding with a, with a flag in her hand. Now, you see this come up, nice gold chain. Well, it says it's gold on it, so I'm just taking its word for it. It's got nine two three seven five on it and nine carat. So here's that lovely gold chain. I did do a gold test on it earlier and it is gold. So yeah, no foolery here. Uh, but as you can see, there's a bit of um, crud on certain areas. That's because, like I said, nine carat gold does tend to tarnish a little bit and like most jewelry does get a bit dirty, which is why I'm going to use this ultrasonic cleaner. Now, a few of you have asked in the past, why don't I use this for cleaning vines? But I've never really found it that good to get real encrusted crud off artifacts. But I thought I'd try it today with this. Um, and this is what you put in this solution here, Dirt Busters Ultronic Cleaner. Put it in, mix it up with a bit of water, put it in and then leave it on for a, probably a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, uh, done that already. And what I thought I'd do as well is throw in this gorgeous little pendant. It's not really old, so um, it's not too precious. Although I think it could benefit from a bath in the ultrasonic cleaner, as could I. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'll put it in there as an experiment next to this, and uh, we can see how it treats uh, finds like this, because this isn't too bad. You can see a bit of the brass coming through there. Just be interesting to see. So let's give it a go. Let's get cleaning. Right, let's have a look and see how they've done.
No lo... Yeah, I don't know, I don't really, um, I'm not convinced by ultrasonic cleaners. I mean, it's still quite firmly on there. I expected that to come off a little bit easier. Especially on gold. I know it's nine carat, but still. Anyway, um, yeah, not convinced by ultrasonic cleaners. Uh, this one is sort of not done too badly. Um, although it hasn't cleaned it up much. So yeah, not convinced. So I'll carry on using my electrolysis, I think, for other things. Um, put it back in the cupboard. Anyway, let's see how much gold is there. Let's weigh it up. I've um, had a quick look online and it's currently at £17.30. Um, a gram for nine carat gold, so that's really good. Um, let's see how much it weighs. Da -da -da. Uh, 23.5. So 23.5 grams times 17 pound 30 equals. 406 pounds, 55p, 400 pound. That's amazing, I can't believe it. Anyway, not gonna sell it, gonna hold on to it. Uh, might be able to do something with it or maybe give it to Wendy, she can make something cool out of it. Um, but yeah, just goes to show you that um, you never know what you're gonna find on the 10th floor, sure. And once you're in the blue moon, you get a nice weighty bit of gold. Doesn't come up very often, trust me, I've been doing this a long time, that's the most amount of gold I think I've ever found. So, um, happy days. And just a bunch of uh, bunch of coins, caster, the smallest little Indian offering pot. And uh, I'll get that home and clean it up. So yeah, what a fantastic day. Well, Queen Victoria's got such fantastic detail. You can see a necklace, these brooches, and all this beautiful flora pattern. And you can tell it's definitely bronze. See his jewels. <laughs> Can't get over it. How amazing is that? Well, me and Vic are gonna go home and uh, get all cleaned up. And uh, what a great, what a great, great day. I can't believe it. So thanks very much for watching. What's that Vic? Oh, see you on the next adventure. Oh, <laughs> that's heavy. <laughs> All right, mud lovers, we are at the Antiques Roadshow, and uh, me and Nicola have brought along some wonderful artifacts we found on the Thames. Nick's brought her a lovely looking Nkisi Kozo power figure dog, probably from the Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> And I bought Her Majesty Queen Victoria made of bronze. So we're about to go in and speak to some experts and see what they think of them. And hopefully we'll get a bit of, better understanding of uh, what these things are. It's a beautiful day and uh, there's loads of lovely people around here. And lots of people have shown an interest. So yeah, this is us live from the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> One is not amused. The last time I saw a bus like this, it was used in some grisly murder in EastEnders. <laughs> this obviously isn't the one. Oh, not that I know of, but you know, it could well be a prop, but um, you know, you're the expert, and maybe you could tell me some more about it. Well, tell me where it came into your possession. Okay, so um, I'm a mudlark, and uh, what we do is we search the Thames foreshore for any artifacts that are you know, in interest. Usually we'd find uh, coins with the bus bust yeah. and to find that was a typical mudlark going down there looking for things in the mud. And she was face down in the mud, and I plucked her out, and I couldn't, you know, I was surprised as anyone to realise that he was actually Queen Victoria looking back at me. Yeah. So, this bronze bust, it was taken from a Parian figure of 1897, Parian being the kind of glazed white horse, and it looks like Mark, uh, for the 60th anniversary of the reign of Queen Victoria. And I think actually this sort of dates 
from that period. And, and what's odd is, this, why, how did he get into the tennis, presumably, where we were? Uh, yeah, yeah. And how long has it been there? And then, how's no one spotted? Well, I've been doing 10 years, Mike Larkin, so I like to go to the places where I don't expect other people to generally go. Uh, okay. uh, through experience, you know, it's, it's a growing hobby. We all have permits to do it. I should mention the permits are very important. And, um, you know, sometimes we like to go to the far reaching areas where less people have been you know, searching. So, yeah, I, I literally was walking for miles and miles and then that's where I discovered that. The fact that you found it, the great thing is, one, you do it all illegal, and two, you haven't overcame it. Because with this now, that becomes its new story. Exactly. So really, yeah, and especially to you, so you've done the perfect amount of cleaning. Estimate auction, three to four hundred pounds. Okay. That's, that's, well, it's not for sale, it's going to sit on my uh, on my window ledge uh, looking out of the garden for, for, for a long time. Well, look, if you're going to have a mudlarkeen trophy, that's the one. <laughs> it does feel like a trophy as well. You yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. Thank you. <laughs> Very well. Well, what a fun afternoon that was. Sadly, though, I've been told that they've decided not to use this interview in the show itself. But it's good news because now I can share what was said by expert John Foster with all you guys. But there is a small chance they might use it on future episodes. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll notify you when and if they do. So I hope you enjoyed this mega mudlark. Uh, my cat Daisy will now meow us out. And if you've enjoyed this episode, then please click on this thumbnail to see when Jules and I found the mega hall. <laughs>